Welcome to this video. My name is Phil and I'm a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln and I wanted to have a look at super full moons and when they potentially could occur in 2024. Now there has actually been some already by the time this video comes out but this will discuss the remaining ones of 2024 and also what is a super full moon. Well before we do that we need to actually discuss what the lunar cycle is. So obviously the Earth goes around the Sun, the Moon goes around the Earth and due to the orientation of the Moon in respect to the Earth-Sun system then you have a different phase. Actually that's our lunar cycle. So as we view it from Earth, different phases, well not different phases, but the Moon is illuminated differently depending on where it is with regards to the Sun. That takes around about 29.5 days for it to actually go around. So that's the lunar cycle. That's not necessarily the orbital period of the moon, which is in a different video where we discuss that. That's to do with synodic and sidereal periods. That's because the Earth is also moving whilst the moon is going around. So the moon actually goes around slightly more because of that. So the lunar phase is not quite the orbital phase or the orbital period of the moon. But anyway... The lunar phase then is just under 30 days it takes to do that. Now, the full moon will always be on this side of Earth facing away from the sun. So if we were to look at the sun-Earth system here, the moon would always be on the opposite side of Earth compared to the sun because it's fully illuminated. That's the face that's facing towards us. So we basically see that as a full moon and that's on the opposite side of Earth. The new moon is when it's basically directly between the Earth and the Sun. Because if it's like that, it's very difficult to illuminate, or I should say impossible, to illuminate the face of the moon that is then facing Earth. Because it's on the opposite side to where the Sun is, so it can't receive any sunlight. So the new moon is always when it's directly between the Earth and the Sun. Now, the other key aspect is that the moon's orbit is elliptical. So this means that as the moon goes around the Earth, the distance between the two changes. So the moon will get closer and then further away. Now, the closest part of the orbit is at the perigee. This is basically when they're closest together. It has a few different names. This is what it's known as if it's we're talking about the moon. But it could be like the pericenter, the periapis, things like that. The opposite one, which is on the opposite side, is the apogee. This is the furthest distance between the two objects. So when it's furthest away from the Earth, it's known as this here. So, the other important thing to note, as I already said, is that the Earth is also going around the Sun. So that means that as the Moon goes around on its elliptical orbit, the time when it's actually closest to the Earth and furthest away don't always correspond to the same lunar phase. So sometimes it's closer to the moon, or say closer to the Earth during the full moon than it is for a for the other type, basically. So it changes when the orbital phase occurs, basically. Yeah. So as the Earth is orbiting the Sun, that lunar phase changes when it's at the perigee. So sometimes it might be a full moon, sometimes it might be a new moon, and it just depends because of this extra movement of the Earth. It's going to always change. So, what is a supermoon then? Well, the supermoon occurs when the moon is actually at the closest point to Earth. Now, in 2024, that's going to occur on the 18th of September. So, on the 18th of September, we're going to get a supermoon because it occurs when the moon is closest to the Earth is when we get this full moon. We also get one, actually, on the next full moon as well. So the 17th of October 2024, we're going to get the same. So we'll get a two super moons basically in a row, which will be quite exciting really. So thank you for watching and if you have any comments then just leave them in the comments of the video.